Hi, I'm Mark Lowes from Novation, and I'm here at the Gear for Music studio to give you a quick overview of the Launch Key range of controller keyboards. I'm going to be focusing on this Novation Launch Key 49, cunningly named for its 49 velocity sensitive keys. Here we can see we have eight channel faders and one master fader. These can be used to control individually our channels or track volumes. Below this, we have eight buttons and a ninth master button. These can be used to mute or arm each track. As we move across to Launch Key 49, we can see here we have eight rotary knobs. These can be used to control pan control. Or for instance, if we're using device control, we can use these to control up to eight parameters of our selected device. Within control turned on, this gives us full integration into our digital audio workstation. In terms of Ableton, this effectively turns our drum pads into mini launch pads, so we can trigger individual clips or a full scene of clips. Together with the faders, in control and our rotary pots, we have everything you need and expect from a USB MIDI keyboard. We have full control over our transport, we have our pitch and modulation wheel, we can change octave and transpose, as well as have full track control. The Launch Key controller keyboards come in a variety of sizes. There's a mini version, a 25, this 49 model, and a 61 key. Every size of Launch Key controller keyboards comes complete with a copy of Ableton Live Lite, together with Novation Base Station and V Station software plugins, and a gigabyte of Loopmaster's sample content to get you started. It certainly is worth checking them out at the Gear for Music website as they're currently offering special prices on the Mark I end of line range. So visit the Gear for Music online store and take advantage of this exciting offer. I'm Mark Lowes at Novation. Thanks for watching. <laughs>